today I want to talk about clickable text and making text actionable and interesting in, uh, in the Emacs browser. So the particular example here is, uh, let's say you're reading something and there's a lot of jargon in it and you would like to know what it is. So for example here, uh, I have a word in car and K points. If you run VASP, a molecular simulation code, you know these are the files, but if you're just learning it, you might try to remember what's in there. Now Emacs has lots of clickable text already, so here is, is a glossary in org mode. If I click on this, it takes me to uh, that headline and I can expand this and see you know, here are some definitions of, of those two words. Now what I want to do is make these words highlighted everywhere in this buffer and have a tooltip that shows me this information and make them clickable that will take me there uh, from anywhere. So it turns out to be pretty straightforward. Uh, I can write a little function here that will highlight these glossary words. So the idea is we define a regular expression right here that is going to be made up of the words in these headlines. So here we just uh, have the cursor jump into the glossary, map over the entries, get the headlines, and uh, I can run this right here and you can see at the bottom we get a regular expression that matches in car and K points. Now I use that regular expression in the button lock uh, set button which will highlight all of these. And so if I run this, what's going to happen is it uses this regular expression to highlight the words and it assigns this function to each of those words. And so this function will um, allow me to jump to that particular entry um, right here. And then we define a background so this will be uh, underlined with a gray background and we define a dynamic tooltip here that uh, you'll see will just display it. So I'll run this, uh, this code, and what you can see here now is that these are gray and underlined, and if I put the mouse over it, I get a tooltip. If I put it over here, I get another tooltip. If I click on it, it jumps right to the KPoints file. So that's an example now of everywhere you see it, you'll, you'll be given a, a reminder and a hint that there's information. And if you've been following the blog, you know that we have other things uh, like Twitter handles. So every time I see a Twitter handle, I can mouse over it and uh, it tells me it's a Twitter handle and I can click on it. And down here, there's actually a menu of options uh, that you can use. And another example is if I have uh, names that are in my contact database, they show up as a uh, uh, like this, and this tells me it's a, an org contact, and I can do things here like open it uh, in a browser, and it'll open up whatever URL I have associated with it. Of course, as I'm writing now, um, I can refer to uh, the K points file, and as I write it, when it completes and matches, it will now have that particular uh, detail there. Or if you don't like using the mouse, you can type control H dot and you see the message down at the bottom. So that's sort of the gist of, of adding clickable functional text uh, in your document. It doesn't change anything about uh, the document itself. This is dynamically uh, done when you load when you load the document. That's it for today.